Welcome to our Racket Club Market Update. I'm Ron Wilstein, a broker at Keller Williams Luxury Properties Worldwide in Park City. And I'm Doug Olmstead, Sellers Property Consultant on the Wilstein team. And we appreciate you joining us for today's webinar. All right, we've got a lot to cover. We want to start by just giving you an overview about what's happening in the Park City market. Then we will drill down to the Racket Club property and specifically. So uh, the Park City real estate market has been very, very healthy. Over the past 12 months, there's been 1,454 sales. Now that's homes, condominiums, and vacant land combined. That's all real estate brokerages combined. And that's actually up 9% or 120 sales from the previous 12 month period. If we look at a year to year comparison of closed sales, uh, September 2014 to August the 2015, um, you can see that homes are up 7% from 505 sales to 539 sales. Condominiums, uh, 605 sales up 20% to 723 sales. And lots down about 14% from 224 sales to 192. Um, lots are down, of course, just because there's really not that much available inventory of available land. Yep. Can't sell what isn't there to be bought. <laughs> Now, what's happening with prices? What you're looking at here is you're looking at a graph of home medium sold prices, same 12-month period, September 2014 to August 2015 in the red bar, and then the gold tan bar is the 12-month period beforehand. On this one, we've broken it up into the Park City area, it's in the city limits, and then Snyderville Basin. You can see that it's, it's pretty level within the Park City market. Technically, mathematically, it's down 1%, but you know, we're talking about a median price going from a million three hundred and forty seven thousand four fifty to a million three hundred and thirty six thousand two fifty. That's you know, one house may have a slightly different feature or view that could account for that right there. The key thing that we want you to see in the Snyderville Basin, uh, prices are actually up twenty percent, nice appreciation, climbing from seven hundred and twenty thousand all the way to eight hundred and sixty six thousand two fifty. That's pretty impressive. And if we look at condominiums um, over that same time frames, um, you can see that in the park city limits, uh, up 5% from 521,000 to 549,000. And out in Snyderville Basin, up 339,500, 13% uh, up to 385,000. So prices are going up, and as you saw earlier, your number of sales are up for condominiums. Turning to vacant land, this is looking at lots within the park city limits. It's level, this is actually up $1,000, 0.17%. So climb from 599,000 up to 600,000. Um, pretty level also in the Snyderville Basin, climbing from 325,000 to 327,250, up 1%. Um, so that's what's happening with land. You can see a little slower because of the lack of inventory, but uh, lack of inventory, we're not seeing huge price increases via supply and demand. It's staying pretty level. Now this uh, graph is an important graph. We're looking at cash sales in Park City. We always like to monitor this and you'll see at the bottom of the graph we're going from 2007 all the way through to 2014. Then we're breaking it down by quarter. First quarter of 2015, second quarter. Key thing I want you to see here in that first quarter uh, we saw the highest percentage of cash buyers ever. That's 56%, so more than half, 56% were cash buyers. The rest, of course, received some financing. Second quarter, it actually dropped to 43%, and uh, part of the reason of that is money became a little bit more available in terms of loan options, and of course, the interest rates continue to be very, very low. So cash is still king, but uh, interesting little drop there. We'll see what happens next quarter. Now let's turn our attention to our racket clubs. Condominium sales and racket club are really unchanged over last year's number of sales. I mean, you see that it's uh, flat, 13 sales last year, 13 sales this year. Yep. Now I want to talk about absorption rate. Absorption rate is the pace in which the current inventory of properties gets absorbed by the marketplace. And what we do is we look back at the last 12 months and see how quickly properties sell. So in racket club condominiums, they sell when they come on the market, assuming they're priced reasonably, they sell at a rate of one sale every 28 days, so slightly under a month. Now currently, there are two condominiums on the market at racket club. 
which equates to a two-month inventory. And what does that mean? According to the National Association of Realtors, an even balance market where there's equal number, approximately, of buyers and sellers, it's about a six-month inventory. Uh, in resort towns like Park City, it's about a nine-month inventory. So when we see a two-month inventory, it is clearly a marketplace that is favoring owners and sellers over against buyers. So very positive. Tell them about the prices. <laughs> so selling prices in Racket Club uh, do range, um, depending, there's a lot of have been renovated, some are quite original in there. So you can see the big range between 419000 all the way up to 579000 with the median sold price being 475000 And that's up 14%, that's big, from the previous year's values. And then you can see it in the graph. Uh, represented there from four hundred fifteen thousand dollars up to four hundred seventy five thousand on the median sold price now if you're interested in knowing the specific details about the sales that we've been referring to you can either send doug or myself an email ron at the wellstein team dot com or doug at the wellstein team dot com and we're happy to send you all the details complete with pictures and um, everything you might possibly want to know and probably a few extra things that we'll throw in also um, now, I want to take a moment here as we begin to wrap up to let you know how you can get this information on Racket Clubs whenever you wish. We typically do these webinars about every six months, but you don't have to wait. Anytime you're curious about what's selling, all you do is go to our website. You may want to bookmark viewparkcityrealestate.com forward slash Racket Club, all lowercase, uh, or if you want it shorter, thewellsteinteam.com forward slash racket club would take you to the same place and if you do that let me just actually take you to our website and show you exactly what happens here we are on uh, the landing page the main home page of viewparkcityrealestate.com if you type in the viewparkcityrealestate.com forward slash racket club it will um, let's see here this real quick and then you hit enter it will take you to a specific page about racket club here we are on the page, and it gives you a few details about Racket Club. If you own a Racket Club, I'm sure you already know these details. And then there are two buttons here. The green one is watch a webinar on the update on the Racket Club condominiums. And in fact, that's what you're doing right now. But if you want to know current sales data, you go to the maroon button, hover over it, turns uh, kind of purple-like, click it, and you'll, you'll come to this form, current sales data request. Really easy. Uh, just fill in the blanks it would take you a minute if that long uh, put in your property here identify it as a condo assuming it's racket club number of bedrooms bathrooms if you're thinking about selling you can put that there uh, and then just complete your name address email at a minimum and then if you want to put your mailing address and some of these other details if you're not already receiving our newsletter we'll make sure we send that out to you and then there's a comments box here if you happen to have any specific questions, just type them in there and then this green button, submit form, click that and that will come to myself and to Doug and we'll get you all that information. That's the background information, what's selling, what's active at any given point in time. So you don't have to wait for a webinar to get that information. You can get it just that quick. Vail has been busy. Um, I've got a quick update for you on their $50 million improvement plan. Um, this is a great shot. I love that picture. If you've ever seen those helicopters bring in the, the poles, it's it's really something to behold. It really is. It's pretty fantastic. Look at that. We've got cable following that helicopter. See the cable where he just dropped that off. So, um, so the Quicksilver is the gondola that now links the two mountains, and all the, the towers are in. Um, they're stringing the cable as we speak, pretty much, and they are ready to go. Um, that's going to just make that mountain just fantastic. Um, the new restaurant right at the base of Quicksilver, this is um, on the Park City side. Um, What's well, all the Park City mountain now? Yeah, can't say that anymore, can I? used to that. <laughs> um, it's all framed in, as you can see. I was up there hiking, taking photos, and it's going to be a really nice restaurant. So those of you who uh, want to refer to or reference off of the Silver Load, Express lift because that's been in place. The gondola is new. Uh, it's basically at the base of both of those. Yeah, sorry about that. And then slightly lower on the mountain is the mother load lift. This is the one 
that could get a bottleneck uh, beforehand, but now it's going to be that detachable high-speed six-pack, and the towers are all in. You can see the base is all in. They are really coming together, and I'm um, considering the ski season's right around the corner. It's a pretty good thing. <laughs> yeah, they do. They promised it would all be done, and yeah. it looks like they're going to do it. Yeah, definitely. So opening day, November 21st. Um, uh, Ron's going to talk a little bit about getting your passes, so if you don't have them, make sure to get those. Well, of course, with the merging of Park City Mountain mm -hmm. Resort with Canyons, uh, Vail Resorts now offers the Epic Pass. They have two different versions. They have the regular season pass, and then they have the Epic lo Local Pass. Get a break if you're local, uh, but there is some limitation if you have that pass. In any event, the key thing to realize is now with one pass, you get to ski what formerly was two resorts. Now is one combined resort with 7,300 acres of skiable terrain. So your legs will be screaming after you do oh, that. Yeah. Uh, but great pass, you get a lot of skiing in. Of course, if you're familiar with the pass, it also works at other Vail-owned uh, resorts around the country, in fact, around the world. Not wanting to favor uh, Park City Resort <laughs> over Deer Valley. Uh, Deer Valley Resort still has a lot of mountain biking going, a lot of activities. They typically open for the ski season around the first weekend in December. Um, and so that's, of course, weather permitting and that the mountain is at the level that Deer Valley insists mm -hmm. that it be to open. Uh, but let's not forget about Deer Valley. Everyone loves the food. Loves the slopes, loves the grooming, loves everything about it. Uh, we've been talking about the improvements at Vail. We just want to mention to you, we can't really go into it in great detail, but we will be in our next Park City Market Talk webinar on October 15th, and that is what impact will Vail's improvements, their $50 million, have on the Park City real estate market? We get asked this question a lot, so we're going to spend some time in our next monthly webinar uh, describing that. So if you want to catch that, Wait till the 15th and it will be posted on our website. And if we have your email address, we'll send you a reminder at that time. But uh, some good stuff on that that Absolutely. I think you'll find interesting. If you want to know how much your Racket Club condo may be worth in today's market, we'll wrap up by just sharing that with you. All you do is go to our main uh, website, viewparkcityrealestate.com. From that home page, main page, scroll down to what your property is worth section complete the form or just send Doug or I an email again let me take you to the website so you can see it uh, here we are this is the home page picture kind of rotates periodically slide down a little bit past start Park City search unless that's what you want to do past the listings in the webinar and here we are at the learn what your property is worth in today's market again there's a short form take you less than a minute to fill out and when you get to the bottom here Click on this, contact me now for a free property value assessment, and we will contact you, make arrangements to get into your property, give you this no obligation, no cost uh, assessment as to the value of your property, and then if you have any questions, you just ask them at that time. So again, click the green button, submit the form, we'll get it and we'll get in contact with you. So it's really, really easy uh, to find out what your property is worth, and you don't have to be planning to sell it, you may just want to be curious and we're happy to help you out with that information. Information by the Racket Club Homeowners Association can be found on their website, PCRC for Park City Racket Club, HOA.org, not com, org. And that will take you to this website and um, has minutes there. It just has a lot of information there. And so uh, check it out if you haven't already. Any questions, uh, send me an email or send Doug an email. And we're here for you we are here for you and don't forget about uh, our monthly webinar always uh, updated on the 15th of each month and as we said earlier uh, we're going to deal with the Vail uh, question on this upcoming one so thank you for taking the time to join us uh, there's your racket club and get out there and use it if you're not enjoy your property thanks so much have a great day and bye bye <laughs>